if you lose your language or your land, you're no longer who you say you are. That was the most abundant estuary in the world, the best food source in the world the Creator gave to the Iroquois to protect and preserve. And to lose that would be catastrophic. When you kill a hillside, when you kill a river, you're also killing part of the human race. We believe that uh, our waters affect the whole world. If you destroy and contaminate the waters here, you're going to affect the whole ecosystem of the world. We are debating the morals and the ethics of those who own the companies and who decide that they can profit no matter who suffers. These are not empty canvases. It's like two and a half million gallons of water to, to frack one of these wells. We don't know what chemicals are going into that river. That stuff right there, that's not natural. You work so hard to clean this up and protect us and you can't stay here? Where's the democracy on that one? I always think that my son's gonna get big and be like, what did you do? What do you want your children to know? What future is there going to be for them? It's prophecy that world survival will come from the Iroquois, that someday we would be messengers to the world on how to continue uh, honoring and respecting Mother Earth for the seven generations to come. We don't need all the energy that we're using. We can turn this around, save money, make money. I started researching other reservations that are completely off the grid and use just the sun. We'll put this whole solar array from there all the way across and, and have green power. It passed. <laughs> action, I love action. I'm always like, so what are we gonna do today? We gotta make a difference today. We have a responsibility here that we cannot forget about. Our ancestors are still here. The time is now. <laughs>